Dozens of people got together last night around Harvey Milk Plaza in San Francisco's Castro District with emotions ranging from deep sadness to extreme anger. Those attacks, that political rhetoric attacking our community has consequences. It fuels hate and violence. State Senator Scott Weiner is sounding the alarm about a rise in both homophobia and anti-Semitism. He opened up to our Lauren Toms about the ugly side of his job with the hope that it can shine a spotlight on the dangers of hateful rhetoric. It makes me really sad that in 2022 there are still people out there, a lot of people out there, who, who hate Jews. Who want us to disappear? State Senator Scott Weiner is no stranger to unsettling hate messages. As an openly gay Jewish lawmaker, he's made it a point to stand up for himself and his peers. I'm the tip of the iceberg. For every person who's public, like me, who's getting these kinds of threats and comments, there are thousands of people that no one knows who they are and who they have no access to resources or no ability to really. Uh, show the world what's happening. But Wiener says anti Semitism and homophobia directed at him has dramatically increased over the last several years, and he shared one particularly awful message he received just weeks ago. As a gay Jewish man, I, I represent like everything, almost everything that they uh, hate, um, and so, so much of what they hate about, you know, people who don't fit their definition of how you're supposed to be. The spike in anti-Semitism has been noticed throughout the greater Jewish community. Security is clear at Temple Emanuel, where David Goldman has served as executive director for eight years. Once we start reacting out of fear, once we start closing our walls, we, in some ways, the battle has, has been lost a, a, a little bit. Certainly a higher level of concern, of frustration, of wonder what's really going on. Of sadness. Goldman says the temple has increased security and its relationships with local and federal law enforcement. But he says he believes coexistence can happen. It has really fostered a sense of cooperation among all of those groups that I think is a is a good by itself. And that you can see a world where all of those groups feel more empowered because they're not alone anymore. As for Wiener, he says he will continue to stand publicly against hate and proudly in his identity to show others that hope trumps hate. I'm proud to be Jewish. I'm proud to be a gay man, and, and I will always fight for my community, uh, and I'll always, I'll never shy away from that. And I think it's really important for people not to hide their identities because they're concerned about how other people are going to react, because that just fuels uh, the, the, the hatred. Last year, the Anti-Defamation League reported a 34% increase in anti-Semitic incidents, marking the highest number since the ADL began tracking anti-Semitic behavior in the 1970s. Okay, so obviously, State Senator Scott Weiner has been in the politics game for a long time. I remember when he was a Board of Supervisor talking about something similar here in San Francisco. So has he ever been actually worried that all of this hate spewed toward him could actually escalate into something physically dangerous? Well, Sarah, Senator Weiner told me that he is confident in local law enforcement, but of course, we all have parents who worry maybe a little bit more than we may worry ourselves. Mm -hmm. And he told me that it breaks his heart that his parents who were born in the Nazi era have to see this kind of hate particularly directed at their son. He said his mom even called him after the attack on Paul Pelosi last month and asked him to wear a bulletproof vest. Oh. But again, Scott has seen national attention for his legislation and pushback. Mm -hmm back to hate and told me that he plans to continue to make his voice heard. All right, Lauren, thank you so much. We appreciate it.